What's up, everybody? It's Gabe and Mike from Afterwake. How's it going? So this is our uh, second reaction video now. This time for a band that uh, I've been following for a long time since you know they first came out around 2008. Went to a lot of their shows. Uh, went to their camps. Uh, so needless to say, I'm a pretty big fan. Yeah, this is an amazing band. Ridiculously technical and and cool musicians. And I, I'd have to say probably the least controversial vocalist in metal, you know? Oh yeah. Everyone is yeah. just saying they love him. Yeah. hundred percent. I know I do. Spons. You got a, you got a great voice, bud. But no, seriously, really inspiring musicians. And I think for a lot of people in our genre, really paved the way for how to get things done while still doing your own thing and what yeah. you love. They're definitely an inspiration. And so I absolutely loved P3, P2, P1, Alpha, Omega, like everything they put up. Frack the Gods was probably like in some ways one of my favorite things that they've done. One of the things that I'm excited about continuing to see is the evolution of their production just keeps getting yeah. better and better. It's right. And that's uh, thanks to Nolly, who's just uh, a wizard now in the metal production scene. I think one of the interesting things with them is you can definitely tell you know, people have their favorite albums. In terms of songs, they have the things that they like and there's... A, I don't know. It gets weird in terms of people being like, oh yeah, P1 is the best or, and I hate everything after that, even though you know they still sound like periphery to me. Mm. But one thing I don't think anyone can argue is that the production just keeps getting better. They keep sounding better. So whether or not, you know, your favorite songs were on an album five years ago, that's besides the point. I'm always excited to hear new stuff from them. So we're going to listen to Follow Your Ghost. I've heard a lot of great stuff about this one online um, and have... Worked pretty hard not to listen to it this whole week. Yeah. This week's been rough. This week's been real rough. I feel like I've been full, like, SpongeBob Patrick, just, like, living under a rock. <laughs> and now we're ready for that full release. Yeah, he's not dumb. He just lives under a rock. So, um, we're going to pop the headphones on. Are you ready, Mike? Let's do it. So, uh, without further ado, uh, P4, hail Stan, follow your ghost, wherever it is. Let's check this out. Immediately, it's giving me the face. Oh yeah, the stank face. Top notch mix. Did you did you watch their like making of for people? Uh, yeah, I checked out the documentary. Very cool. So it's cool seeing that first and then listening to this track because uh, you, you see the choir that they real use. people. Yeah, real orchestra, real choir. Yeah, imagine very, that. Very neat. Imagine that. Very sludgy. A lot of space. That's cool. His screams, like his mids, just sound so dry. I love that fill. Uh. Uh, I like that. <laughs> That's psycho. That's oh, 
Oh, uh, breakdown time? That's cool. Yeah, I, li I like that panning. That's really cool. Whoa. Someone's gonna get injured to this. Yeah, that wasn't the like. That wasn't like the key that I was expecting him no. to sing on top of that. No, that's interesting. But it really fills out when the fire's there. That's the interesting thing with, uh, you know, when when you have like some of that atonal type of music yep. that's happening where it's it's just you know. I mean, for, for lack of a better term, like the O's and ones. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, for sure. When, when they're rocking that open string a lot, you know, you can do some really interesting things in terms of changing modes or changing keys. One thing I definitely want to hit on when it comes to this is when it comes to Spencer's vocals, a lot of people's complaints can stem from all sorts of different things. But the one thing people cannot argue on is the fact that the guy's really, really, really technically good. Yeah. And the types of screams that he's doing for for the mids here, like for the, the kind of the bulk of the screams, that dry sound, that almost like shouty mm -hmm. type of thing, like your average person that screams, I know for myself, I'd have to really warm up and like really, really, really focus and not hurt myself getting that sound. You know, compared to a lot of screamings, that sounds very raw. It does, yeah. It's right. almost like he's singing a consistent note. It's not just a guttural scream or anything like that. Yeah, it's it's not like it's, it's like just pitched almost. It's almost pitched, yeah. But it's just got this, like he kind of comes like talking with it a little bit, mm -hmm. where it's like it it comes in and out of it's like goes yeah. back and forth. Like that's definitely me trying really hard, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just I just think that, that that's really really well done on this tune where it sounds really raw, um, and you know you got to practice a lot to do that shit without hurting yourself. Boom, let's get back into it. So coming down now. Oh. Ah. Okay. So this is the ghost they're following. I like that, that, that baritone voice that he's got going on there. That's very cool. It's very creepy, very eerie. Follow me if you want to. <laughs> like those backups, dude. I like that change. Yeah, you can hear that orchestra now. That's what he does best right there. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of grit on that. This is Jake. Jake, right? I think it's, it's a Jake. I'll have to check that. Yeah. That sounds like a Jake. Uh, yeah, it does. He made a Jake. Pick him back up again. Oh. Okay. So that was uh. Okay. Cool. I will say right away. I wish that there was more of that 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 last section. The last section. It's so different. 
I really, really, really like this song. I like that part though. I wish that it, it happened maybe more than once. Yeah, it but. almost feels like almost a part two, you know, from from pretty much the intro to about the three quarter mark. Yeah. It's just on the whole time, you know, very heavy, and then that melodic piece at the end almost feels like it's a, a different song. Songwriting structure, definitely, they're doing their own thing here. Yeah, <laughs> it's not sure. your traditional intro verse chorus, verse chorus, bridge chorus. No. Overall thoughts? Great team, great yeah. team. It was worth the wait. So, okay, so far what I've heard, uh, with the exception of Guard in the Bones, this album's been pretty heavy, but I'm hearing that they've got some pretty... Uh, it's been heavy. Stuff. I haven't heard all the songs, mostly just the singles that have been released, and yeah. it has definitely been heavy. I've heard of some other songs, Crush, and some other ones that are maybe are a little bit more poppy. Maybe mm-hmm. they even went for a, a more radio-friendly tune. So, we, you know, we might just have to review one of those, too. Yeah. Anyways, guys, like, let us know what you think of the track. Let us know what you think of our opinion of it because i mean like your opinion of our opinion is an important opinion that's why we do this clearly yeah right yeah that's why we write music so we can hear your opinions that's why we don't like how things sound <laughs> we want to know people's opinions of the things that we we care about right but anyways thank you for hanging out with us yeah. thank you periphery for putting out a dope track yeah uh once again we're from afterwake and uh we'll catch you next time see you guys